what's going on down the bottom end and we can kind of zoom in and check that out so as he's finishing this backswing beautiful takeaway as the backswing's finishing just keep an eye on over here the little left heel you're going to see as it finishes left heel is going to raise as the bounce wing almost starts believe it or not the left heel raises and moves forward actually moves more closed so it starts at this angle by the time the downswing starts it actually is more closed right there just a fraction just half an inch little move forward you can see this the same little move here with uh you'll see the same thing done by rory believe it or not and a bunch of other good players we're actually going to see this left heel move forward at the start of the downswing it's almost a feeling like this left heel is going to move ahead of the toes it doesn't actually happen that much but there's a little move forward there and what the bonus of that is is it helps the hips stay closed Yes, closed for a fraction of the second as the hands start to hands start to come down. It really helps that hands. You imagine getting this left heel working forward and have the hands going out and over. It does not happen. It really helps create the space for the hands to drop in the slot. Just that little lovely little move. And go zoom in on Rory and see the same thing. Just that little bit there. And then once that heel's replanted from this point here, left arm parallel again. You're in a great spot. He's created that space. A little deep squat there. He's in a spot now where everything's going to rotate. The big toe is going to come off the ground to help facilitate the, the rotation of that foot into a very open position. So check it out. Go watch a bunch of different swings from a bunch of good players. But you're going to notice that lead foot is always rotated a little open in transition. It actually gets more closed, believe it or not. And then post impact, it ends up rotating into the heel and opens up again so this foot here is moving and facilitating the pivot and the transition correctly a little complicated i know but if you get some awareness and some control over what's happening on the ground especially with your lead foot you'd be amazed how well the rest of the chain works let me know your thoughts